So I just engraved this board right here for a realtor that I actually found on TikTok of all places. Um, I started a TikTok for our business page and I came across her videos because I was just following like realtors and realtor hashtags and sure enough, I liked her videos. So I was like, I should send her a board. So now that's out of the way and I've got all my boards packaged up, we have to move on to the one thing today that I really was not looking forward to because I'm kind of scared and nervous and I just all around feel a little lost. Like it's just, it's a stressful job that, I don't know, it's just a stressful task we haven't had to do before and I'm excited but like, ugh. So we spent all yesterday morning looking at seven different properties, which you guys saw in the video. And it was great. We got a feel for what size we wanted, maybe what style of space we wanted. But as we were walking through all these spaces, there was one common question that kept coming up from our broker, from the property managers, from the landlords, everybody. And that question was, what do you want to do with the space? And I know that seems like such an easy question. Like, duh, I wanna run my business out of it. I wanna put a warehouse in it with a few offices. But that's not a good enough answer. So not only did we have to choose which space we wanted, how big we wanted the space, and where we wanted it to be, we also had to choose how do we split it up? How much warehouse space do we want? How much office space do we want? How many offices? How big? Do you want an open space? Do you want it closed off? Do you want a hallway? Do you not want a hallway? Do you want a break room? Do you not want a break room? So many questions that we didn't even know we were getting ourselves into. In residential property, you're pretty much renting or buying the space for what it is. You don't really get to change much. What's there is what you get. In commercial real estate, it's a little bit different because you're renting the space and then you pretty much get to choose how it's laid out. And after running both of our businesses and just whatever house we happen to be living in at the time, the freedom to choose what we want is a little bit overwhelming. But we have an idea. To the whiteboard. So all the spaces we looked at yesterday really fell into two categories. They were either a mostly square shape or they were a long, skinny, rectangular shape. So we just decided to sit down and draw out on the whiteboard what we saw and how we think we could lay out the spaces in each of those options. So while these drawings are not exactly to scale, we really just needed to get an idea of how much office space we wanted to have. We've had a lot of ideas over the last couple of months of rooms and working spaces and things that we wanted in our little office studio area. And it was really good for us to sit down with a marker board and just get all that out of our brains and onto the whiteboard. There were some things that we totally overlooked, like bathrooms. We knew there would be bathrooms, but we didn't think about that cutting into the air-conditioned office space. And especially because it's expensive to move plumbing stuff around in the building, that was just an example of something that we overlooked, but once we got it on the whiteboard or we saw it in the physical space, we were able to wrap our heads around it and account for it. In each of these designs, we came up with a list of things that we knew we needed, no matter what the space looked like. But basically, we determined that for all of the rooms and requirements that we need, we need at least a thousand square feet of office space. And that's far more than what most of these spaces are offering. 
you either need more warehouse space or you need more office space. We're sort of towing the line of like in the half and half area. And that's just very rare to see because most warehouses only need one or two offices. Most offices need a very small storage and shipping room. So, you know, it's either it's either a one extreme or the other. And we're sort of trying to split the difference in the middle with 30 to 40 percent of the space being office space. And that's because we have to have room for both the Jenny and Davis employees and the Samara employees. We also want a really nice place to film. Like we love our little studio here, but we, we'd had dreams of just a really nice big recording area that we can do podcasts, we can have guests over, we can do hangouts, we can do all sorts of cool stuff that we've been imagining about, but it just takes up square footage to, to actualize those. We also learned that the shop just has to be insulated. We saw a couple properties that didn't have an insulated shop and there was a definite difference in humidity and temperature, even on like an 80, what was it yesterday? Like 87, 88, and it was still hot in those warehouses. So they've got to be insulated, both to control the temperature and the humidity. We'd prefer it to be air conditioned, but we understand that's always not going to be feasible or affordable. The location is also important too. I mean, we don't make cheap furniture, so we naturally have to have an office that's closest to where our customers are. When they're coming by for quotes or when we're working with interior designers in the future, it needs to be in a centralized location where the wealthier people are. So location is really important for us too. A couple of y'all mentioned to find a place that has three phase power. Guys, it's Houston. Every commercial space around here has three phase power. That's not a concern, but yes, that is on the list of things that we're looking for. On that same note, we need 18 wheeler access. Eventually we have dreams of shipping this furniture potentially all over the country and all over the world. And we need to be able to have a truck back up and be easily loaded with our tables and cutting boards and the like. I'm ready to have a dedicated space to take product photos. We've been taking pictures for social media and our website on folding tables, our own kitchens, borrowing our friends' living rooms for a night. We've had to get creative, but I'm super excited to have my own space with ample room to take really nice photos for social media and our website. And that's gonna eat up quite a bit of square footage too because we've gotta fit an entire kitchen table in there and have room to get good angles and, and nice pictures and everything. feels like we got nothing accomplished today. But what we did do is crystallize exactly what we're looking for in a shop. And the clearer our vision is, the easier it's going to be to find what we need. Like, do you remember the first time you ever went to a theme park? You just walked in, there were lights everywhere. You walked all over the park, not knowing what to ride first or what ride came next. What was at the end? Should you keep walking? Should you ride all the rides up front? Basically, you were walking around kind of aimlessly because you didn't know what to do first or second or what was coming next. That was us yesterday, walking through all of those spaces. It was cool to see, we learned a lot, but oh my gosh, we didn't know where to go next. So now that we've gone out and found what's out there and we've sat down and figured out what we want and need, just like a theme park, we're gonna be able to go out next time and know exactly what rides to ride, what places to look at, where we're gonna want our office space. And it's gonna be much more productive than just having a second day of walking around kind of aimlessly. And if you wanna see the next round of properties we look at, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss that video because we're definitely gonna take you along with us. And just because you're subscribed doesn't mean YouTube is gonna show you that video. So you have to hit the bell if you don't wanna miss the tour of the next set of properties. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the bed.